guys, several of y'all have asked me to do a tutorial on how I curl my hair. Um, I have a couple of different ways that I do, but I'm going to show you the one that is my favorite and that I do the most, and it's with a curling iron. Uh, I'm going to start with pulling the top part of my hair up, and I'm just going to leave the nape part down, right there. And I'm going to just kind of clip the rest of it out of the way. And then I'm going to take about this much hair, can you see? That black background, I don't know if you can tell. Take about that much. I'm going to take the curling iron. And I usually curl mine back, so I'll put it about halfway. And then flip it around. Just kind of slide down a little bit at a time. Oops. Sometimes you will accidentally let go of it, and that's okay. And then you just kind of work those ends in. And see how that kind of gives you a little bit of a... You don't want to just grab it and start at the ends, because you'll just literally only get a curl at the ends. See, that's going to end up being like three separate pieces. I like how I just whip my hair around. <laughs> so take it. See how I kind of just tap that in. That's how I ended up dropping it a while ago. It was by just letting up a little too much. There you go. Now I have very straight hair. So you may have coarser hair and need to leave it on there for the heat to absorb a little bit better if you have coarser hair or um, a little more resistant or if your iron doesn't get as hot. Now that one does get pretty hot. And that is usually most of the time the reason your hair won't hold curl. It's not usually your hair, it's usually your iron. And I tell people that all the time. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. without being able to get as close to my mirror as normal. But it's the same process pretty much all over. It's easier to do it in sections so you're not like just digging around for hair pieces. Digging, you know, you're more likely to miss sections and it not curl right. And then plus once you get used to like sectioning your hair out, you get pretty quick at it. And it won't take you as long after you get a little practice in. Also, make sure your curling irons are clean. That can have a lot to do with why your hair won't hold a curl very long because it didn't get as much heat or if it's not curling very well. I did post um, some stuff a while back about that. So if you'll look down into all of that, you'll see that. And that's on my, my Facebook that I posted that. Because this video will probably go on YouTube as well. If you'll notice, I'm not disturbing these curls by raking my fingers through them as I go. It 
it really helps with the hair kind of cool off. It's the heat that softens the hair to be able to take the curl. And it's the cooling off that kind of close that cuticle tight down into that uh, position for it to stay curled. And then that's about temple length there. Now, I don't actually have any mousse or anything in my hair. Um, now, if I'm going through a bit of an oily phase or it's just wanting a little more volume, I will have a tendency to use some mousse. I'm really picky about my mousses. I don't like them when you're starting to do your hair and it like halfway through drying it starts getting all stiff and and sticky so I suggest sticking to a volumizing mousse I really like this one this one is my favorite And I don't like to spray my curls necessarily before I curl them. Some people do. Like I said, my hair is straight and fine. I have a lot of hair. It's thick, but my individual strands are fine. Now, if it's going to be a really windy day, I will have a tendency to want to spray them more, like, through each level with hairspray. But I'm definitely a minimalist. Min minimalist, I think that's how you say it. I don't like too much product. Of course, I like product, but there we go. And I will go ahead and spray this part. Ah, oh, missed a piece right there. Sorry, guys, I can't see real good this far away from the mirror with that black backdrop. I'm going to have to get a new backdrop. There we go. And I like the Redken Forceful 23. I like it because it's dry. Uh, if you're not one who has access to professional sprays or products or anything, um, just if you'll spray a little bit on your hand and it's not very sticky, but it still says it's a, um, a firm hold, that's a dry spray and you still will get a really good hold but it'll leave you with more touchable hair. If you spray it onto your hand and it's shiny and stays wet for a good few seconds, that's going to be a wetter spray. That's the kind of spray that kind of gives you that crunchy hair if you get too much. Um, and a lot of times it, it's heavy on your hair. And it'll also, even if you have naturally curly hair or, or coarse, it, it still weighs it down and just makes it kind of yucky. And if, God forbid, it rains, then you end up with gummy hair. Um, 
Those kind of sprays will be very comparable to pump sprays, how wet they are, but they'll be the aerosol. You're not going to really find a dry spray in the pump. Another bit more environment friendly, but They're kind of gross. They're really for more people with short hair that need kind of that spiking power. Come on, Pete. There we go. And that is my preference. There's other hairdressers who love pump sprays. Curl closer up like that. Like I said, keep in mind what size sections you're taking. You get too much hair in there, um, you're not going to be able to wind around as much, it'll be too wide. You get too little, you might end up really poofy. Also, keep in mind the size of the iron may give you a different look. I don't like going much bigger than this. But if you if you do, you'll end up with a little bit more of a wave look. It may curl like this right at first, but a little bigger. But the curl, by the end of the day, naturally it'll be more droopy and it'll look more wavy. Which is a nice look, and I do on occasion. What's good about these dryer sprays is you can spray, 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 and you're really not going to end up with too much. And on my bangs, I usually dry them with a bigger round brush, and then I push them over. Oops, I knocked the mousse over. And then I'll just kind of do like that. Break my fingers through them a little bit. And a lot of times I'll kind of pull that back. I'm just kind of spray that too. Um, I did wash my hair. I've been using the Redken All Soft lately and conditioner. Um, it leaves your hair moisturized, but it doesn't make my hair all greasy, and my ends have been a little bit dry with the weather change, so that has really, um, my curls look soft and, and smooth, but not weighed down, which is, um, great. I've been a fan of that particular, um, Redken shampoo set for probably ten years. I always end up going back to it at some point. So, anyway. There you go. Hopefully I don't have any straight pieces back there. I don't know if you see any. Forgive me if you do.